Okay, we're getting ready for the 140 pound our TV match, familiar name. We just heard uh, Mark Ryland's name as he handed out the award to his champion wrestler. Well, Luke Ryland um, is, uh, I think, cousin. R related somehow. Related there. somehow R there. Ryland's from Eagle Grove. That's right. And uh, going against Henry Wall from Underwood. Henry Wall is the brother of Blue Wall, who was the state champion here a couple times and also at one point in time had the uh, career win really technique wise but just power I just want to be off my back right now and Grunder didn't have their best tournament here I think that coach Bob Kenny that we in 1A we just saw the winning coach Nick Dorman Wilton wins it. Don Bosco in second place. Bell Plain in third. That was that win catapulted Bell Plain into center, that third place trophy center. position. In the middle. 41 and 4, JD Neg. Uh, he's in the red um, ankle band. That's center. his record. Danny center. Ellsbury, 23 and 3. Ellsbury's had a good tournament. 23 and 3 on the season. He's mu wrestled much tougher than that in this tournament just to get green. here. Blood time green. Nate we got blood over here. Uh, blood time won a green. tough 6 to 4 decision over uh, Trenton Byler from Winterset That's on his face. to get here. And uh, Ellsbury beat uh, Kurt Artist, who was the number one ranked wrestler of the state, stop. to get to the finals. Stop the in time. 1A, we have Heath Lamp from Avoca, um, Ovoca, AHST High School. Coached by Gary Patty. Ready, coach? Scott Linden from Woodbury Central We're Mobile. Neutral, Coached by Brian right Klingensmith. Ah. That's a 1A match. And in 3A, Ben Stedman, Bishop Helan Sioux City, their second finalist. Coached by Matt LaFleur. Going There's against a... the other Paulson, nice. Travis Paulson, Lewis Central, coached by Keith Massey. Nice Jim. single leg attempt there by Nag and yeah, drops yeah. in and gets the two points. He caught uh, Ellsbury just trying to get off the edge. You want to fight those things, those uh, techniques, like you're in the middle of the mat. Green so Nate down. jumps Nate out, 2-0. Nice and easy. Nate down easy, top man. On the winning team, Emmitsburg, Armstrong rings that's third title in a row. It looks like they're going to win. And they didn't have their best tournament here. I think that, that Coach Bob Kenny would probably say that uh, you know they probably could could have put some, could have put some more points on the board, but having three guys in the finals, he's awful thrilled about that too. Under a minute, the score is two to one. Let's JD Neg ahead over Danny Ellsbury. Four to one, Travis Paulson has jumped out over Stedman on the 3A mat. Still 0-0 zero, zero on the 2A or on the 1A mat. We're on the 2A mat. Warning green! Where Warning green! Danny Ellsbury has been warned in the first period against JD Neg. Neg has just been relentless and moving forward. Here he is on the edge of the mat again. He's scored here in this position before. He's he caught Ellsbury trying to really kind of move off to the edge. Now he's going to come up with it there again. That's what we talked about. He went for the edge and allowed Neg basically to score the technique almost easier than he would if he would have fought it like he was in the middle. Four to one. Time running down. He doesn't want to let. The South Tama wrestler no, out, no. Danny Ellsbury, and he doesn't, holds on, makes that, uh, there's the coach Green. from. Green. Green chooses down. That's Brian does. Uh, Green, you received the Brian Smith, and, and he, you heard what he said. He says that's two takedowns at the edge of the mat, so he's trying to get through to his Green athlete back. here just to wrestle, right wrestle tough like you're in the middle. And Ells Ellsbury's not alone on this, is that uh, a lot of good wrestlers have uh, taken that approach and failed because of it. Now Nag working really tough on a near side chicken wing. Really has a tough, he's a good bar arm. Pretty basic wrestler. Keep it legal, keep it straight. Keep it legal, keep it straight. Really tough in the top position. But he's not really getting, you need to get off to the side here. 
Can't stay parallel like right. that. Uh, he's good bar arms, but what makes this work so well is he just stays on his toes. He stays off his knees, keeps on driving forward. There's Bob Kenny, the coach, very successful coach of Emmitsburg Armstrong Wingstead. Green down. I like what Kenny was saying there to his athlete, Nagy. He says he wants him to try to get to one side or the other. If you get that bar arm locked up, really get aggressive with it. Back there, again, back in his home position. Now he catches a high elbow on the far side, Tim, and if you get that high elbow on the far side, notice how he just hooks it, puts his own elbow in the middle part of uh, Ellsbury's back. It's a really good controlling position there. Now he'll try to suck him up, lift him up. Oh Ellsbury. Man, you got to base it up. Let's look it up. One here. That's just a tough position to get out of. Say, <laughs> that is tough. You got the elbow in the back. You oh. got the hips on top. You got one leg elevated. I think by, what that might be called is being overpowered right now. Right. And, but Neg is now doing a good he, job. He, he, getting out to the side. Yeah. yeah. And getting out front and being aggressive. Comes back to the far ankle, the near ankle. That was one for Neg. Uh, Ellsbury was called for stalling second time. Warning the first time doesn't give you a point, but the second time, it's a point. So the score is five to one as the time yeah. runs down. A hey, reversal, reversal for We're green on top. Ellsbury. We're green on top. Now that brings him right back into the match. It really did. And you, if you third heard in the period. background there, you heard the towel Touch boy uh, basically counting down Red five, four, three, down. two, one, and it looked like Nig just stopped wrestling. Well, and he started thinking about time instead of a uh, position. And that makes that stalling call against Ellsbury right all the more important. Uh, oh, otherwise, man. it'd be four to three right now. But five, three uh, lead for Nig, who's starting on the bottom. Nice switch there, standing switch. Ooh, he's coming all the way. He's got the corner on, he's got the arm across the far hip. Now he's got to just scoop the leg up, get his own head up, get his hips down, and he wins this position. I got two reversal. Two point win. reversal. Right back, Nate gets it right back. Seven to three, he leads with a minute 35 left in the match. Well, that shows me something by Nate. You know, when you stop wrestling like that, the, you know, the kind of light switch goes off. It's, it's important that you get the next four. Let's go center green down, gentlemen. 14 to three lead for there, Paulson. Greendale. Travis Paulson trying to win his third state title. Lewis Central's top ranked Travis Paulson. His twin brother already having won his second state title. No, ready And off the Paulson start. leading off the Stedman start, 18 to four with a minute lead. left in the match. Nice solid tight waist. Look how tight he has that uh, waist locked up. Really deep. And he starts working that bar arm again. The battle here is for uh, Ellsbury's wrist. If he can get that locked up, now he's got position. See him hand fight down there? Not letting Nig get to it, but in the meantime, the clock is burning down. This is in Nig's favor. He'll yeah, take Nig, this position all he wants. I was going to say, Nig will, will, will lose that hand fight. But he's trying to get Ellsbury's left wrist. If he gets that, he's got. Uh, he can really secure the technique. Now he has it. He had it. <laughs> now, they're just, these are the little nuances about position here that you, it just looks like he's riding parallel, but there's a tremendous battle going on there to keep that wrist free. Yes, Let's go center, same way, guys. 34 seconds Come left on, in the match, 7-3 lead for J.D. Nag from Emmitsburg over Danny Ellsbury from South Tama. It's a close match right on. on 1A, 3-2 lead for I believe it's Scott Linden leading Heath Lamp 3-2 with less than a minute left. Work, gentlemen, work! Uh. Neg is just suffocating with that uh, tight waist ride. Look how far he's got his fingers around the waist of Ellsbury, underneath position. Now he's working to the far hip, drops into the double leg. There's just no getting away from well, that. Except for that reversal at the end of the second period, Neg has just smothered him. Perfect match with the exception of that right at the end of the period. And like you said, he came right back and got it back. An escape at the end, makes his final score seven to four. J.D. Neg wins the state championship for Emmitsburg. Come here, young man, come here, come here, come here. You gotta face the crowd, come on, buddy. You gotta nice face job. the crowd. Nice right, Jim? Yeah, the referees like to be seen in those positions, too. <laughs> Bob Kenny, the 
assistant coach given and, and the assistant coach giving JD Neg a big hug. Here's here we are, 1A. 12 seconds left. It's three to two. The guy on top. Scott Linden from Woodbury Central leading. And it looks like he is. Whoa, it's close. Yeah, he hangs on. No points. State champion. Looks like Linden hangs on for the win. Yep. Keith Lamp was 50 and 0. Wow. 50 matches, no losses. And now he has his first one. Scott Linden goes to 44 and 1 and wins the state championship. Doesn't even look like he's breathing. <laughs> I mean, he's just like he walked just like he walked out there. That's a well-conditioned athlete. Coach Brian Clings. In single A at 152 pounds, Scott Linden of Woodbury Central and Heath Lamp of AHST of Volca had met before at the state tournament. Each had won one match at the state tournament. So this was a rubber match. And Scott Linden is the champion, decisioning Heath Lamp three to two. The champion at 152 in single A, Scott Linden of Woodbury Central. More awards. 152 pounds, Scott Linden of Woodbury Central and Heath Lamp of AHST of Volca had met before at the state tournament. Each had won one match at the state tournament. So this was a rubber match. And Scott Linden is the champion, decisioning Heath Lamp 3-2. to two. The champion at 152 in single A, Scott Linden of Woodbury Central. More awards. 52 pounds, it was Ben Stedman of Sioux City Healing going up to the, against the other half of the Paulson Twins. Travis Paulson, the senior, undefeated, going for his 86th consecutive ma uh, win. He does it in a technical fall. It's his third consecutive state championship. Again, your class three, 152 pound state champion, Travis Paulson. Paul Paulson boys are awful strong. I think. Didn't overreact, the loser walks off, hard fought match. Let's go to the awards stand. 52 pound awards, Coach Brian Klingensmith of Woodbury Central Mobile. Sixth place, Dan Hammes, Sigourney. Fifth place, Travis Strabel, I-35 Truro. Fourth place, Cole Spree, Appleton Parkersburg. Third place, Paul Myrick, Turkey Valley Jackson Junction. Runner up, Keith Lamp, AHST Avoca. And the 152 pound 1A champion from Woodbury Central Mobile, Scott Linden. It took an overtime, but Adam Belton of Nottoway Valley is the new champion at 160 in single A. He decisioned J.J. Cooper in an overtime. Cooper did a Gramby roll to tie it up here in the regulation, and then in overtime, a double leg takedown by Adam Benton got him the championship. Adam Benton, the champion in single A at 160. More awards. Presenting the Class 2A 152-pound awards, Coach Bob Kenny of Emmonsburg Armstrong Ringstead. Sixth place, Ryan Dunbar, Clark Osceola. Fifth place, Trenton Byler, Winterset. Fourth place, Kurt Artis, Glenwood. Third place, Reed Bach, Clear Lake. Runner-up, Danny Ellsbury, South Tama County, Tama. And the 152-pound 2A champion from Emmonsburg Armstrong Ringstead, J.D. Nag. Let's go to Joe. All right, in Class 3 at 160 pounds, it was Johnny Galloway Jr., a senior from Iowa City City High, going up against undefeated Grant Turner of Johnston. Galloway did it all on his feet with six takedowns. He wins by a score of 16 to 6. He wins his third consecutive state championship. Presenting the Class 3A 152-pound awards, assistant coach Ryan Barker of Lewis Central. Sixth place, Cole Farber, Newton. Fifth place, Omar Maktabi, Iowa City West. Fourth place, Blake Livingood, Decora. Third place, Eric Whitcomb, Waverly Show Rock. Second place, Ben Stedman, Bishop Healand, Sioux City. 
and the 3A 152-pound champion from Lewis Central, Travis Paulson. Joe. All right. I'm here with uh, the head 